I think audiences will love this one because I think everyone can relate to one or other of the experiences that the characters have in the film. Um, they'll know what it feels like to see someone that you really like and you really care about um, not feel the same way about you or to be with someone else and the kind of the heartbreak that you feel. His students are kind of like jewels, they're kind of his pride and joy and he likes contacts and networking and he's a social climber basically. Um, he likes all the comforts that that can bring him. Um, he's very kind of, he's very aesthetic. He likes having lots of nice material things around him all the time. Um, he's a very good potions master and um, he tries to collect Harry and he recognises Hermione's intelligence and he realises that that's quite special too. I think she's finally beginning to come to terms with the fact that she might possibly have feelings for Ron and just as she's kind of working that out for herself, um, Ron decides to um, well, it's not really him, actually. It's kind of Lavender, this kind of slightly um, slightly loony girl um, who just thinks that he's the best thing that's ever happened. And she um, she basically sort of takes, takes him away from her. And um, she's a bit heartbroken by it all, to be honest. He's completely out of his depth. I think it's the only way to describe the situation he finds himself in, he thinks he's so desperate to prove himself and he's at that really crucial age where he's, you know, he's 17 and on the brink of becoming a man and he wants to prove that he's a man and he feels that the only way he can do this is, is by carrying out these terrible orders from Voldemort and that's really sad, I mean that's such a massive weight on his shoulders, I mean he turns pale, he just looks ill from the strain of it and um, it's really sad, but um, what I love about J.K. Rowling's books is that no one is ever painted completely black or white apart from Voldemort.